Hello guys, welcome to Android Noobs. Today I'm here with a review of Sanogen Mode 13 by Darshan. So first of all, you might be thinking why the screen is so white. Most of you might know, but still I would like to go over it. The first time when you flash the ROM, the screen is going to be too bright and even adjusting the brightness isn't going to help it at all. So the problem is not with the ROM or neither with anything, it's a small bug found on Marshmallow ROMs. For that first you need to go to settings, here go to display settings, go to live display and first turn off reduce power consumption and that's it. You are back to normal. So now let, so now let me take you through the review. So first let us check the about phone of this device. As I have mentioned this is a Cyanogen Mod 13 running on Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So this ROMs, ROM has been pretty smooth till now. I would even show you, I would even like to show you the battery performance. And even the screen on time is very good. As much as I have been using it. So going over, this is just basic app drawer of the marshmallow top to bottom. I would even like to show you the Antutu benchmark test. In that. I didn't flash any kind of kernel or anything on this ROM. It's only the ROM, G apps, and the Cyanogen apps package. That's it. So this is the Antutu benchmark score that we get without kernel. So rem remind you again. So all the apps are available on the Play Store. As you can see, I have installed Amazon, and even some of you guys are able to install Instagram. I believe. Yes, Instagram. I know. I'll even show you that as well. So as you can see, I can install this install this app. So there's no Google Apps problem. I have installed OpenG Apps Nano on us. So let us go through all the settings available. And so these are the basic settings: Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and SIM cards. Mm. Let me take you through this. Yeah, you can change between LTE, 3G, and so there's no mobile network data problem to assure you of that. Now let's go down all the basic sound settings like ring volume, notification tone, increasing ring volume, other sounds, etc. etc. We'll go to display and lights. There's adaptive brightness available, even the live display is available. So there's ambient display as well. That is the feature of the marshmallow ROMs. I have observed on quite a few marshmallow ROMs which turns on your device when you pick it up using the proximity sensor most of the times so that's the display and lights I have plus the C app so I get the default themes chooser app as you can see I haven't installed any actually I can go to shop themes and even buy themes even the Cyanogen account is supported that's because of the C app specifically made for the marshmallow you can browse through U forms for that now it has all the notification access the marshmallow gives you more notification notification access I, I would like to say now there is a lock screen as you can see we can even set a 6 into 6 pattern lock as I have did right now smart lock is available live lock screen is available and you can even encrypt your phone just like all the other ROMs and next uh, buttons so yes it has all the basic buttons and if I enable the navigation bar the hardware buttons don't work anymore and even the backlight goes off so I would like to use the on-screen nav bar for this review right now so yes you can customize all the buttons if you would like to use on the screen or the hardware buttons that's up to you however you want to use it I prefer hardware but to sh for this review I'm going to use this so yes you can set up the gestures and all those things next going to the battery performance as I've already showed you quite well it's doing very good so memory it's RAM has RAM management is very good on this ROM. I would like to say that. So compared to compared to all the other ROMs, the mem the battery performance of this ROM is quite well. Gives me a day on full charge. I would like to say. So all the status bar icons can be customized. So all the clock clock in the middle, circle battery bar, etc. Brightness control and all those things. And so all the basic things stuff is available even showing you the storage you can eject from here OTG support is enabled naturally on Eureka so 
the three questions I have seen on the uh, form is flashlight tile. To assure you of that, there is the flashlight tile available over here. Turning it on, just turn on my flashlight and turning it off, turn it off so there is no problem of that. And as you all can notice, there is no lag in the notification bar as well. So that's clear and I have all, as I have already told you, battery bar is very good. So those are the three basic questions I have noticed on the form. So I would even like to give you a gaming review, starting with Subway Surfers first. So I would like to go to Subway Surfers first. So the games as I have already tested, as far as 8 and Modern Combat run pretty well. I want to first start with some basic gaming with Subway Surfers I would like to say. Uh, so this game sometimes lags on many devices as I have noticed it, but we'll see whether it lags here or not. So let's get going. Slight frame rate drops I am noticing here. Yep, now it's running smooth. Slight frame rate drops, yeah, but that isn't such a big bother. The game is running quite well. No issue of this wrong. So that's well sorted out. You can see some was pretty well. With a little frame rate issues, but not a big issue. So now let us back to our review. Now next I would like to go to Asphalt 8 Airborne. So let it load up. It's I'm sure it's gonna take a little bit of time. So overall this is I would like to talk about this ROM. This ROM can you be used as a daily driver naturally. Not it's not it, it doesn't contain any bugs to be frank about it. No bugs at all, not even the slightest lags I have noticed. Only if you do heavy performance like running too many apps in the background. You aren't going to face any kinds of problems in this room. So I'm directly going to a race without wasting any time. To show you guys the performance of the room. It's loading. So let us play a simple race. It's to be true. Here it is. Let me play a simple classic race around there. Going up. So as I have been mentioning, the ROM is a very good daily driver. Good marshmallow ROM for starters. If you flash the C app specifically for marshmallow and even a little bit build props tweak, you're going to get with one to zero percent battery drop at the night. I sleep with ten percent in the night and get shocked waking up with ten percent in the morning as well. So very pretty good daily driver to be sure about it. Asphalt H has run without any lags till now. Twice to thrice, I believe. I keep on changing my ROMs, but yes, this ROM I have been using it for quite a few days, and it has been a very good daily driver to be frank about it. Running. So let's see how this performs. Light lag there. I know I think that's because of the screencast I'm doing, but the gameplay was quite well before that. I, I can be well. So 
that was a quick look this of our Sanazin Moth Harin by Darshan. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching this, guys. If you want a quick camera review as well, please leave in the like description. Like I mean comment down box down below and I'm gonna sure I'm gonna put that up. And please use the camera next mod that's the best camera available. Thank you guys for watching. This is me from Android Noobs signing off.